if you want to master hard surface modeling in blender you're gonna to have to master booleans and in this video i'm going to show you how to use booleans with box cutter we're gonna look at some really cool features so enable box cutter with w go to d menu and switch from box to circle and this will allow you to draw circle cuts so by default when you draw a cut so click and drag and you know draw a cut you will see that your cut's going to be defaulted to 32 uh, vertices but you can change it by holding shift and scrolling your mouse up and down and by the way at any point if you want to you know know what kind of options you have you can always check them here in the bottom okay so that's a default cut right now obviously i had a video um, about it quite recently what you can do you can specify the position of this cutter on the mesh so if you want to draw it precisely in the middle what you want to do is you want to enable dots hold control and drag and draw from the dot right that's going to be perfectly in the middle so when you're going to be mirroring your cut it's not going to be a yo-yo do you know what i mean so that's really important okay so use dots if you want to be precise Another thing about mirroring cuts is that uh, not many people know about it. You can do this while drawing a cut in box cutter. So when I'm drawing a cut, right, I can press one, two, three to mirror them to all sides, right? And then three, two, one to turn it off. So you can do it this way. All right, cool. So now let's talk about the basic options here. So you draw a cutter, you know, like this, and let's say you want it to at the bevel, press B and scroll your mouse up and down and you have a bevel you can also move it left and right to reset from bevel to chamfer and that's your cut now another interesting option is going to be tapering so if you draw a cut and press shift t you can taper it you can also bevel it at the same time right you can use both functions at the same time and bob janko Another thing you can do is going to be solidifying this. So run a cut, press T, and it's going to solidify a cut in or out, right? Next is going to be wedge cut, which is kind of interesting. So draw a circle and then press W, and it's going to create a wedge cut. And uh, so if you cycle it, it's going to be left, top, and then clean circle, right? So you can draw a wedge cut as well. Another thing you can do, you can array this while drawing. So you can run a cutter here, right? Just turn off the wedge cut, press V and then X to, um, you know, set the axes, click, and then you can, you know, drag this down by the dot. Now you see the dots here, right? So let's talk about them. This is kind of like a pause mode for all the cutters and it's for square cuts, angles, anything. So if you draw a cutter and you want to think about it, just press tab, all right? It's gonna allow you to do quite a few things. You see these dots here on the sides. The one in the middle is gonna be extruding it down. This one's gonna be a scale, and this is gonna add a bevel, which is pretty cool, right? Obviously, you can move them, so you can press G. If you hold Shift, you're gonna be moving uh, your cut on the surface. You can scale it by pressing S, rotate it on all axes, by the way. So Z, Y, you know, whatever you want. And you can also cancel it with the right mouse button, obviously, right? So again, V, X, and then scroll your mouse to adjust the array. Now you can also draw a circular array, okay? Even better, let's grab a cylinder. And it's going to illustrate this a bit better. So um, hold control and draw from the middle, then press V and V again, which is going to um, create a circular array. And then you can scroll to create more cuts. Click, right, once with your left mouse button, and then you can drag it down and create a perfect radial array uh, around the middle point of this cylinder, which is pretty cool, right? Cool. Now, another tool that's really kind of hidden for cutters is that you can flip a bevel to the top face. So watch this. Run a cut draw it down press f then press bevel right and then shift f to flip it and you're gonna get this you can also bevel it so you can have a chamfer or a bevel this is pretty cool and the only way to do this would be to flip the top face of the cutter so watch if i run a cutter and shift click to shift it to live so it's a live cutter now i can select the face on the top alt n and flip it so i'm flipping the normals Control b and i can bevel it that's how it's done okay so it's done within a cutter 
during the cutting you don't have to you know go to a cutter and fix it it's pretty good um, i love this option so that's that's that now another thing you can do um, obviously you can you know change the number of, uh, of vertices but you can go all the way down to three which is going to give you a triangle so you can do stuff like this for example you know uh, let's just uh, press b for bevel scroll it then you can press q for quad bevel and you're going to have two bevels you can do it as well now in this setting it's going to be a bit difficult because you see our bevel is going to inter uh, you know kind of intersect but this is actually really um easy to see in a square cut so if i'm going to draw a square cut press b for bevel right i can press q for quad bevel and you're going to have two bevels at the same time this is fantastic when you're drawing cuts um, on a side like this and you press b right and you got bevels on this side but you don't get bevels on this side so you press q to bevel this again and then you got bevels on all sides right that's you know that's how it works cool going back to a circle now if you go to d menu you can change a few things here uh, in this menu so if you click here on the circle you will see more options and you can preset how many vertices you want for the circle to be drawn with. You can also change how box cutter is creating this uh, circle cut. Now, I wouldn't go with the modifier. This is an old way of doing it when the screw modifier was involved. It's a bit more, it's, it's a bit outdated. Don't worry about this one, but the star one is actually quite interesting. So by default, you're gonna be set to polygon. But if you switch to start, and by the way, you can do the same thing in here on the top. You have options for the circle cut as well. So either D menu over there. And now, instead of a circle, you're going to be drawing a star, which is pretty cool. So you can scroll down, right? And up. Now watch this. If I'm going to enable bevel, right? B. And change, press Q to, in, to disable the quad bevel. And change it to a chamfer, I'm going to get a cogwheel watch. Do you see what I mean? So let's just uh, scroll it down. There we go. And let me just draw it again. Scroll up to get more segments. Just press B. And there you go. There's your cogwheel. So you can do something like this. And remember that you can also use cutters outside geometry, which means with nothing selected. And then when you do that, you'll be creating shapes. So watch. If I just have nothing in the scene and start drawing a cutter, I'll get the same shape, right? The difference is that I'm not cutting anything, I'm actually creating geometry. So you can very easily create kind of a cogwheel, enable the dots, D, switch it to polygon, right? So go here and switch to polygon, and draw a cut in the middle, increase the number of verse to 32, and Bob Jankel, there's your cogwheel. So you see, it's a very powerful tool that can be used in, you know, uh, in multiple ways. So it's just not a regular cut, it can do much more than you think. So these are the basics of the circular cut. And if you would like to learn more about hard ups and box cutter, then I would highly recommend our course, The Ultimate Guide to Hard ups and Box Cutter, which is going to teach you everything you need to know about these add-ons, including a very powerful workflow. And this course also goes deeper into advanced settings, which are located in here. And the same goes to hard ups. So it goes really deep. There's quite a lot of stuff to be covered, especially under control tilde menu. So if you really want to, you know, get deeper into hard ups and understand how all these things work and how you can utilize these tools and set them up for your own personal workflow, that's the only source of knowledge uh, for these two add-ons that's complete. The documentation is outdated and not many people actually uh, have enough content on YouTube that could cover all the tools. Even I don't think that my videos cover everything and I have like 170 videos on YouTube just devoted to hard ups and box cutter. So this course will cover everything you need to know, including the workflow, all the advanced tools, and you're gonna walk away with you know, a very solid workflow and that you can build on because you're also gonna have access to all the secrets and kind of hidden tools and settings in hard ups and box cutter. So you'll understand what all these things do and how to use them to your advantage. Anyway, so if you're interested, the course is called The Ultimate Guide to Hard Ups and Box Cutter. 
it's 2.0 so it's a second edition and the link to the course is in the video description and in a comment pinned underneath the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one